Welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be checking out the newest update that just came out yesterday inside of Clash of Clans, checking out all of the new goodies inside of the game, and finishing it off with a battle towards the end. Now, I'm not sure if you guys caught the Ground versus Air livestream that Supercell did just a couple of days ago. I ended up casting it alongside Galadon, so I've been playing with this new update for the last couple of days, and I had a chance to check it out. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, let's go ahead and start it off by building the newest defense inside of Clash of Clans, which is going to be the Bomb Tower. So the Bomb Tower comes from Clash Royale, and initially when you see the Bomb Tower on defense, you see the damage that it does. It does splash damage when it attacks your opponents, but the real value in the Bomb Tower is when it explodes. When the Bomb Tower dies, it does an insane amount of damage, which is really good against spam compositions like miners, hog riders, and stuff like that, and that's why we didn't really see any mass miner attacks during the uh, the live stream. In fact, the miners got a couple of other like undercover nerfs um, that people have been talking about a lot since the update has come out and it sort of made them useless right now. But you can see the stats for the level five bomb tower right there. I went ahead and maxed that one out and let's go ahead and finish off bomb tower number two and I get that one off to max. So not only were there a bunch, or was there a new defense inside of Clash of Clans, which is going to be the Bomb Tower, they also added in some additional levels uh, across the game for things like the Baby Dragon, the Wizard, the Regular Dragon, and then a couple of defenses. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got so far. First, we do need to build the 25 walls that uh, did come out for Town Hall 11. So if you guys are Town Hall 11, you're going to notice you have 25 more walls to help out for placing the uh, bomb towers. And seeing as I have a little bit of gold, I guess I'll upgrade these as much as possible. I'm not sure if I'm going to get these up to level 11 just yet. But let's just go ahead and fill our gold storage one more time and see how far we can upgrade these bad boys. And it looks like we'll get them up to level 7, which really isn't too shabby at all. All right, so looking at the rest of our base, a couple of other upgrades we can get done that just came out inside of this update. On defense, we did get the hidden Tesla up to the level nine, so I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade one of those for you guys to check it out. It looks really funny on the top. It's actually pretty blocky and uh, bulky, but does a decent amount of damage with that upgrade. And then also, we did get a couple of new things inside of the lab that I talked about. We have a level seven wizard, level six dragon, and a level five baby dragon. And uh, that's sort of what we talked about on the live stream. Air attacks are gonna be far more decent now that they added in some additional levels to both the dragon and the baby dragon. Um, of course, I don't think they're going to be the premier attack strategy. I feel like throwing in some air troops to help out is sort of what people are going to find to use them for. But let's go ahead and upgrade the wizards because I seem to use those more uh, than the dragon or the baby dragon. And then also there is a new level to the expo where you can upgrade it up to level five. Honestly, it doesn't look too much different. It just got a little bit of change on the bottom to the red on the platform, which is a little bit disappointing. Usually with the upgrades, I like to see like an epic new style of artwork, but honestly, really minor changes for the expo upgrade. And I'll focus on upgrading that another time. Now, one of the things that was really big that came out was a new way to train your troops inside of Clash of Clans. It combined all of the barracks into one. So when you go to train, uh, you can see all of the troops are now together, the elixir and the dark elixir troops, as well as the spells. If you go to Bruce spells, they're all gonna be together for the regular elixir and the dark elixir spells. And then for quick train, this is actually something that people have been asking for for a very long time with quick train you can create an army composition um, either using like your last army composition or making a custom one like i am right now and whenever you want to train up those troops all you have to do is click train and it'll automatically queue those troops up to be trained and uh, make it super easy for you to get exactly what you want so i think this is a fantastic feature one thing that is a little bit annoying is that um let's say you do your attack and you still have like 10 wall breakers left inside of your army camp. Sometimes, and a lot of the times, you won't use every single thing you have inside of your camps when you do an attack. Um, Quick Train doesn't really recognize that. It just tries to train up everything once again. So you might get, you know, if you keep, saving up your wall breakers after every attack, it's gonna start messing with your army composition, but overall, definitely a step in the right direction, and I think they're gonna keep improving the training going forward into the future. Now, let's go ahead and get into attack. Now, there were a couple of other balancing changes, so the witches have a bunch more HP now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys six of the new and improved witches inside of Clash of Clans, and also the clone spell, which I don't have with me, uh, did have its duration increased for the clone troops, so it makes it so they last a bit longer, and you're gonna get a bit more value out of those clone troops. Um, but let's go ahead and get into a base right here this guy did actually have the bomb tower built and was the first person i found with that as well as his infernos are dead so this one should be a pretty easy base to attack i'm gonna go ahead and open his base up from the very top make a little bit of a push on the top right as well and there go six of those new and improved witches that i talked about but the bowlers are still really strong now the bowlers did get a little bit of a nerf um, but still they are very powerful during the ground versus air live stream we saw the bowlers still pretty much the most dominating uh, attack strategy inside of clash of clans that we saw at least on the live stream 
I think Team Ground actually got two stars in every single attack that they did, and then most of those attacks did use the bowlers. Now, I did use both of my jump spells on the core. Could regret that if I want to jump out of the core to go for the three stars, but just going to go ahead and take it easy and use two jumps to make things pretty simple. Grand Warden's ability is going to be popped to help out my troops as soon as they get to the center to deal with all the garbage there, and I still have my King and Queen's abilities, so... Things are looking okay, but I think I just ran out of golems. My last golemite died in the center. I do have one golem on the top left that's helping out the bowlers alongside those witches. Um, but that's it. The core is going to go down. You can see the bomb tower in action. And as the bomb tower explodes, it's actually not going to lock on to anything. So unfortunately for this guy, his bomb tower didn't really make too much of an impact inside of this battle. So easy two stars. That was a pretty simple base. Inferno towers were down, and the base design wasn't uh, anything to write home about. But still, you can see those witches in action. You can see the bomb tower as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of excitement around this update inside of the game i'd love to hear what you guys think i know a lot of people were tweeting at me on twitter telling me to make a video about the update of course i was gonna i was gonna do it i didn't do it yesterday but i, I i'm gonna go ahead and uh, check it out and play more with the update today but i thought i would show you guys the raid do a couple of the upgrades for the new stuff that came out inside of clash of clans and to see what you guys have to think also of course if you guys didn't see the live stream or any of the announcement friendly wars are inside of clash of clans now you can um you can battle whatever clan you want you don't have no longer have to make your war weight match up or do anything like that and as we get to the end of this raid you could see i was going to get three stars but uh unfortunately just ran out of time towards the very end but uh yeah friendly wars are here all of the changes that i talked about before in this video uh are inside of the game right now so make sure you guys check it out if you have not already and uh, again i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the update let me know in the comment section below what you think do you love it do you hate it are there some things missing that you wish it had and uh, i'll make sure to respond to a couple of the comments and i'll let you guys know what i think that's gonna do it for this video until next time i will see you guys later peace out